Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today, I am going to be showing you guys my new farming routine because I can't do my old one anymore. I was going to make a trading video. But I realized I was like really broke and needed diamonds. By the way I don't have any game passes except the flying one, but I won't use it in the video. This routine is pretty similar to this video, but with a few changes. Anyways, let's go. So my strategy is literally just grinding levels. I go to campus 2 to do a round of school first because I level up the fastest here. There are also a few diamonds that spawn randomly around the campus. Make sure to get all your books before school starts because it gives you more XP when you bring it to class. I literally can't believe they got rid of the diamonds locations here omg. This honestly reminds me of the creepy NPC video I saw where like a NPC is spies on you when er in a private server. IDK have you guys seen that TikTok lol. Anyways, just do all your classes and try to farm a little if you see any diamonds spawn. I mostly see diamonds spawn on the beaches and the forest area outside the campus, but they could really spawn anywhere. While I am doing my classes, let's just talk a little. So if you guys didn't know, I stopped playing Royale High like for like a year and now I'm back to check out how things are lol. Royale High economy is still as expensive as ever rip. I went on Tradery yesterday and saw this list. OMG I was like damn 5 million? Trading in Royale High economy is a struggle. But like at least the items are pretty lol. By the way for me, I just fly really high into the air and look down because the diamonds are really colorful and you can definitely see them if we're really high up. This really helps me because it makes sure I don't skip any diamonds.
OMG guys I DKY but when I tried to glitch out of the art room, I literally couldn't. Like I sat down and went into shift lock but I couldn't get out for some reason. I had to use my flight pass I'm sorry. If anyone knows how to get out please 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 let me know. Anyways, after classes make sure to do your homework because it gives you XP when you turn it in. And also sleep because you probably have no energy after this. Then you check if you missed any diamonds and get them. If you haven't already. Make sure to do your daily logins because you can get extra diamonds each day. Except if you have bad luck like me, maybe you'll lose a few diamonds. So as you can see I got a few hundred more diamonds from doing that. Now let's do some calculations ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay so this is the total I got in like 22 minutes. So my ending amount after the school day was 11,681 diamonds. And my starting amount was 9,466 diamonds. So I subtracted them and this is how many diamonds I got in one round of school. And like I can do the school day like three times in around an hour. By the way school days in private servers take less time because the time skips forward a little. So if you take 2215 multiply by 3, this is the amount of diamonds you can make in around an hour. So like if I have a lot of time, I can farm for like 5 hours a day so multiply that by 5 and you can get like more than 30k in a day. It really depends on how much time you farm a day. But if you do this routine for a few hours, you can definitely get 30k. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys found this routine helpful. If you guys need a private server, I have a link in the description. It's going to expire in like mid-August because I literally have no more Robux rip. By the way, the amount of diamonds you get in a school day varies because different amounts of diamonds spawn. Maybe someday we will all be rich and get all the items we want lol. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you next time. Love you all. Bye.